Get yourself ready for an interdimensional sensory experience. Welcome all to the dimension of sci-fi, fantasy, and horror. This is the 5D Podcast. Hello there and welcome to the 5D Podcast brought to you by Stuart and Zach from 5D-blog.com. Uh, of course, welcome to those of you on iTunes, Spotify, TuneIn and Stitcher. Be sure to check out the 5D-blog.com website for blog articles, competitions and news. And of course, check out the 5D YouTube channel, the details for which can be found on the website. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Are you, are you there? Are you, are, you, are you okay? You haven't been blown away by Hurricane... Uh, what the hell is uh, it? I, th- I think... I think I'm okay. <laughs> Hurricane Kira is is actually. I think, I think I think my lights flickered earlier. Did they? Oh man, uh, we've got wind and rain and thunder and geez and all sorts of going. Yeah, not quite. Got, we've got wind. Not quite as bad as our old stomping ground down in England because apparently it's all flooded down there at the moment. So mm. you know, okay. But anyway, so uh, you've been busy. Yeah, yeah, I can't move. Uh, it's all this decorating and, and kind of man of action stuff. Didn't I teach you anything? Uh, didn't I teach you, you anything? Get man in, get I, somebody I'd be, in. I'd be doing much better if you didn't come around to visit yesterday, <laughs> promising to help me shovel one and turn up looking like you're dressed to impress without I, no shovel. I'm always dressed to impress. <laughs> I, I, well, yeah, but, but the thing is, you said the night before, well, there's probably no point because the forecast is for rain, and so I no, kind of. No, because no, I said come around <laughs> Saturday because it's not raining. <laughs> All uh, right. Well, listen, next time we come around, I'll bring a, sp- a shovel, a spade with me, and we'll, we'll do some digging. We'll, we'll, we'll do some digging. Welcome to 5D's Home Improvement Podcast. <laughs> We're here next week for the cooking special and whatever. Um, that gun's is it's a work in progress, but it'll be fine. It'll be it'll, it'll look great eventually. Anyway, so um, what the hell we're going to talk? We've got some good, some big news, haven't we? I think in in in, in a little while. Shall we leave do that we? just for? A, yeah, you know. We've got a we've got a a, a a brand new BFF, a brand new pal, oh. yeah. Um, which we'll, we'll talk about in, in just a couple of minutes. It's quite a biggie as well. I'm quite chuffed with all with all this. It just shows what stalking does for you on, t- on the internet these days. It, you know, there mm-hmm. is a, there is a good side to, to stalking an individual. Um, so w- w- let's just get a few of the new things out of the way first, because I managed to kind of keep tabs with one or two things. Um, did you see the new trailer for Narcos Mexico? I did. You said, yo, check out the new trailer for yeah. Narcos Mexico. Did I say I yo? Like, cool. I never say yo. Did I say yo? I don't know how uh, for it. Uh, and I was like, cool, I'll watch this season two trailer for a series that I've never watched. Did you not watch season one? So, uh, the thing is, right, is Narcos, normal Narcos is awesome. Yeah, Narcos yeah. Narcos Mexico is awesome. Yeah. My problem is, is I like to watch TV the most when I'm eating. Okay. Or something. And I just found that I'll get in the evening, I'll grab some food, I'll turn it on, I'll be watching, and every time I look down to eat my food, I look back up and I've missed like three times. Of course, with the um, <clears throat> with the subtitles. Um, yeah, so it's one of those where, you know, I need I need a bit of extra time. Oh, right, watch. okay, so so you, you did watch it, but you didn't watch it. in. Um, yeah, so I started yeah. Narcos Mexico. I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a few seasons deep into actual Narcos. Okay, all right, okay. Well, I think it's, I think it's, I had, I had a quick catch of the... Uh, the trail after I sent it to you, and uh, it looks great. You know, it's kind of taken on the story and everything from you know what it was before and and stuff. I think it's um, got still many characters in, so it's got um, Diego Luna, um, who was in the first series, who was also in something else we're going to talk about in a minute, um, possibly the new Rogue One series. Um, and the the first season of Narcos Mexico also appeared the the gentleman that we're going to talk about in a few minutes as well he was in that as well um mm-hmm. if you remember um is that one of the times when you were actually looking at the screen when when he was yeah. in, good good because when we do talk to him maybe maybe you should you know i'll, I'll watch a couple of episodes okay just, all right just, just to recap yeah, yeah, yeah okay so what are you going to do are you, going to, are you going to watch the rest of the series before have you have you actually seen it all yet no um no, no just the first couple like. okay or five. Which is really good. I mean, I didn't think it was quite as good as 
the original Narcos series, I, I must that's, admit. That's kind of what I was thinking it was, I was Yeah, it was still great. I mean, I loved the original one because of the Escobar stuff and all the stuff that I kind of remember from being you know, in the news at the time. But, but what I stuff. like about this one, mm. the, the Mexico one, is it's referencing gun, um, cartels that you actually uh, are actually famous that you know about. Well, stuff that you will now, because obviously this is going to be kind of going to, what, the 90s and sort of late 90s, so there'll be stuff yeah, that... But, but even still, do you know that the, do you know, you'll hear on the news every now and again the name of the cartel and yeah. stuff. It's, it's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I, I, I'll be watching. I mean, I watched the first one, and you know, I don't have a problem um, as such with with the, uh, uh, you know, with subtitles. I know what you mean. That it, it I can, don't have a problem. Yeah, it's just I know sometimes what you mean. I'll look away, and then I come back to it, and I'm like, Wait, what, what, what was it? What, what did this well, well, you do have quite a short attention span, don't uh, you? Really? I really do. You know, uh, especially when you got that phone in your hand, and you kind of like, you know, you say something. To, I'm surprised you're still married. You know, to be honest. So, right. Sorry, what I was just checking there. <laughs> Yeah, so funny. Yes, that was really good comedy timing. Um, so Narcos Mexico. That's I think that's out February thirteenth. So if you're going to catch up, you you ain't got too long. Um, no. It's probably what that's next week, isn't it? It's, um, yeah, Wednesday. It's, it's like it's like it's like three days. Oh man, it's so silly. Yeah, so you ain't going to catch up because you you've got so much on your plate at the moment that you're trying to watch. Um, did you hear the news that Rogue One may be having a series made? Um, I did. Yeah. What do you think of that? You think I think it? that's I think that's cool because I think of the most recent ones. That's probably my favorite film. You know something, uh, you know, and, and the, I still read the stuff on Twitter and I still see all the stuff about, you know, the the the, the recent film and you know the the recent three films. And my God, people are have lost their stuff over it big time. You know, in in some ways, um, for me, Rogue One I think is is the best of any of the bunch. I would even put it in my probably my top three. Of mm-hmm. all the Star Wars films, um, not necessarily in any order. Before anybody stops having a go at me, but um, you know, New Hope, um, Empire Strikes Back, and Rogue One would be my top three. Not necessarily in in that particular order. So um, I mean, Return of Jedi was all right, but those bloody Ewoks kind of spoiled it. I'm not going to go on about those again. Um, I think the series have will be quick. Uh, go on, sorry, go on. Uh, yeah. Have they have they talked cast? Well, I think um, Diego Luna is going to be in it again. I think as well. Um, the oh god the 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 droid what was it K was it K two K two the K two uh, yeah K two I saw K two I saw well done yeah where, which was voiced by Alan Tudyk I think it's the it kind of be a prequel so it's gonna be obviously it's gonna be a prequel so you know spoiler alert, everybody died in it um, so I think um, it's it's looking at those two together before the the pre, you know. I think I think it would be cool if it went all the way back maybe and covered um Mads Mickelson. Do you know Okay, yeah yeah. The... Yeah yeah. It may well do actually. There could be a little bit there. I certainly know that I certainly from what I understand Diego Luna is gonna be in it. I from what I understand So if um, that's the case then it's probably not gonna go that far back. Possibly not, like... no, no. I, but I really like the I loved um, you know, the the K two SO um droid. I thought that was really good and really funny. Um, and not overly, you know, stupidly funny. Not like George or Binksy type, embarrassing. I thought it was pretty good. So, I think that uh, they haven't even started filming yet. I think it's rumored that it could be start starting to film maybe later this year. So, man, I mean, it's looking like a Disney Plus subscription, possibly, might definitely on the cards. Um, especially after the other stuff that dropped in the Super Bowl halftime, you know, show that they do, which lasts about twenty five hours in between the game. Yeah. Which itself lasts about twenty hours um, anyway, um, and they it, it kind of teased a few things, did it? It did, yeah. What was on? Um... So, f- firstly, it looked like Falcon and the Winter Soldier because Anthony Mackie pulls the shield out of the tree. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so that's kind of obviously looking down that kind of route. I think that would be cool. I, I, I kind of like. I don't know how I feel about some of them, to be honest, because I don't want them to feel like. I kind of feel like they're being shortchanged, some of these characters, because yeah. some are getting like Hollywood films, others yeah. are getting series. I, I don't know if they're getting like a massive pay packet to kind of go alongside and to supplement that, make them want to do it more. But I don't know. I feel like I feel like I'm not going to say favoritism. Yeah. But I feel like some characters might be getting left by the wayside with it. Maybe. I mean, I I, I kind of see what you're saying. I'm 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 looking forward to the Falcon Winter Soldier. Soldier, like you say, with Anthony Mackie and um, um, was it Sebastian Stan playing Bucky, and, and so I think that's going to be I think that's going to be really cool. Um, I'm not too sure about One Division. 
I'm, I'm not 100% sure whether or not, you know, the Vision and um, Wanda Maximoff thing is going to be... I, I may, maybe it will... I don't know. Maybe it'll be, it'll be great. It, it looks promising. Um, I'm really looking forward to Loki, um, the um, well, series. Uh, yeah, I mean, that got teased uh, initially. I mean, the Wanda Vision thing looks a bit... Uh, I don't know. Like I, I, I would agree with you, it looks a little bit weird. But then yeah. when it comes to the Loki, that just looks badass. And I think on the teaser... Was it not just Loki kind of stood there saying, like, I'm going to burn this place to the ground? Yeah, it was wearing some sort of prison jumpsuit type thing. Yeah. Uh, there wasn't much. I mean, it was the whole thing. Because I, when, I, when I sent it to you, I then um, I sent it to you. I thought, oh, this could be great. And then actually didn't look at it myself until maybe a few hours later. And yeah. then I, I was... Well, well, it's only 30 seconds long. Well, and yeah, out, I was double checking. Outside of actual, like, overlays and things, it's probably only, like, maybe 20... Less, just less than twenty seconds worth of stuff. Yeah, uh, so I'd, I'd double checked if I sent you the right things. I think well, surely this can't be right. But it was only a, it was like a TV spot, as I say in the in the super marathon, Super Bowl marathon, or whatever. So um, yeah, but they look good. So I mean, I think um, One Division and uh, is definitely. Out. I think that's out this year, and I think the Falcon is out later on this year. I think Lo- um, Loki is the one that's slightly delayed. I'm guessing from what I remembered. You're doing, you're doing a lot of thinking. It doesn't sound like there's much in the way of research. Well, yeah, I know, right? It's, listen, man, it's been one of those weeks. You know it. It's been one of those weeks. So it's been a bit rushed um, today. So I'm kind of going from memory. I think it's. I think it sounds about right. It's convincing. If anybody wants to catch me out and and tell me wrong, then fine. You know, <laughs> you know, take it. Well, 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 I'll set. I'll just set co-host Zach on you because he's bigger than me, and he'll he'll take you down, won't you, Zach? I don't through. know. I've been I've been laying flooring all day. And my back hurts. I'm, I'm just gonna get in a nice bubble bath after you, this. So you've been you, you've been oh. laying who all day? Sorry, flooring. You, uh, flooring. I, well, I saw a picture of this flooring, and it looks pretty good. It looks, oh, looks pretty good. Thank you. Yeah, I, I mean, I am. Um, I'm thinking about actually quitting my day job and doing it for a living. Okay. But all right. Go then, for it. Then again, I don't know if my body can take it. No, I don't think your body being your body, it, it definitely can't take it. So don't give up with your day job, as it were. Um, biscuit knees. No, I know. Yeah, exactly. Um, so that was kind of a few things that we saw this week. Um, we watched the uh, latest episode of The Outsider, a series that we are both a little bit kind of obsessed with at the moment. Um, mm-hmm. Shall we tell people our news? Shall we tell people our news? Go for it. Do you, do you want to say it or do you want, do you want me to? Do you, want to... Uh, do you know what? You sound so excited. I am really excited because I kind of like, you know, I've, I've kind of seen this guy's work for a while. Well, um, Yul Vasquez, who plays Eunice Sabler, the, um, the FBI um, sort of guy in, in The Outsider. Um, we mentioned last week that um, I kind of said something to you on, on um, Twitter and he'd responded back very nicely. And then I sent him a couple of messages and then you took the mickey out of me by basically when I said, oh, you should come on the show. And there was like silence and you and you. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I kind of I, don't so I guess the joke's on me then. The joke is on you, man, because what happened was I think I, I kind of. Um, tagged him into just the, about what we talked about last week about basically saying you know you'll come on man you know um, uh, come on the show and then he basically said yeah let's do it so um, I asked him if he would follow me he's followed me back on Twitter which is nice uh, and we've been chatting um, and so he put me in touch with his people um, I put him in touch with my people um, which is yourself which is me yeah just with a different voice <laughs> Um and we, we're kind of starting I don't know out why with, I have Stuart on line one. Yeah, Stuart, come in. Come oh, hello, in. it's me, Stuart. <laughs> You've, oh, I thought I'd fooled you. I didn't know. And anyway, so, um, so what's the saying? You just ruined my track of thought now. So, the day's not set yet. We're hoping it's going to be in the next, hopefully, next couple of weeks. I don't know what um, Yule's um, uh, schedule is at the moment because if it's, if it's IMDb things, anything to go by. Then you know he's probably working his ass off at the moment. So it, we're going to be talking. We're going to get him on the show. We're going to be involving him. Um, we're going to be hopefully um, live on Twitch. No pressure, man. But live on Twitch at the time. Um, yeah. We're also going to get some questions put out beforehand. So if anybody's listening to this now and um, wants us to ask him a question about, I mean, you're quite keen on talking about what um, Bad Boys Two. Um, that oh, I mean, that, that was, that's what I said. That's probably the first thing I saw him yeah. in way back in the day. Yeah. Um, um, I mean, there's so much to talk about. That's I know, right? I know. We're gonna have to. Um, we're gonna have to actually scroll, do some. You scroll through. You scroll through his IMDb, and it's just like there's, there's so much stuff that you'd wanna. Yeah, I mean, War of the Worlds, A Team, this Narcos. You know, um, the fact I didn't realize the fact that he was a lead guitarist in a 
in a um, a rock band in the eighties. They, they, they mm-hmm. made a couple of albums. I, I showed you the link and stuff. Um, I didn't realize that as well. So I need to talk to him about that. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's, there's so much. We're actually going to have to do some research, man. We're actually going to have to do something and prepare because. You know, I don't want you letting me down, or, or you know, when we talk to you, you know, we need to get something. Need, we need to be prepared. So, um, do, do I do do I do I, do I normally let you down? No, you don't normally let me down. <laughs> <laughs> it's just frantically when I can hear that keyboard in the background going. He's he's trying he's trying to chase he's trying to chase us up now. He's trying he's trying to get uh, out. No, of I'm I'm trying to do additional research. <laughs> No, actually, seriously, you're usually really well prepared. Either that, or you just bluff it really well. Um, so anyway, back cool. to you. Back to yeah, no. Back to you, Vasquez. Uh, Vasquez. I think, um, as I said, we're going to have him on the next couple of weeks. I don't know the exact date, but if anybody does want to give us a question, then we will we will get it in there hopefully, um, and it should be fun. If, if it's a good question. If it's a good question, yeah. I mean, you know, if it's kind of like you know. If, what you, it's got to be a good question but he said we're going to have some fun and he's kind of up for it you saw the tweets didn't you and everything so um, yeah it's going to be great I'm, I'm looking forward to it so that's going to be cool it could be the first of many I'm thinking maybe next we'll try and get like I don't know who, who, do, you, who do you want next um, I think the world is our own I think honestly honest to God we're just going to take it over um, in terms of uh, what we were talking about yeah so the, the, the episode this week episode 5 of The Outsider um what did you think? It seems to be going so slow. It's just like the, the 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 whole week between episodes. I'm just not a fan. I thought you I thought you meant that the the actual series was the actual oh. thing was going slow. I thought you was gonna oh. have a because I thought that's not what I thought you were gonna say. Um, yeah, it's really weird, isn't it, having to wait for episodes? You know, it just feels like what we used to used to have to do. Um, you saw it before me this week. Cause I only saw it a couple of nights ago, episode five. Um, what do you think of it then? What do you think of the the episode this week? Because I thought it was a cracker one again. Yeah, it was okay. good. Um, I mean, we spoke briefly earlier in the week a little bit about it, and one, yeah. one of the things I like the, the most is it's like week on week you kind of slowly tease just a little bit of new information. Yeah. Because they don't really do much week in week in terms of like solving what's going on. Um, there's sometimes you know like a into a, a little bombshell here and there, yeah. or you know, a little realization here and there. Um, but what I enjoy the most is all the bits kind of around that as well, because again, when they're teasing kind of what's going on, the other little arcs in the story are kind of going on as well. Yeah. And again, not really much is happening, but it's still captivating. Yeah, there's a lot of it just happening in the dialogue, isn't there? You know, um, you yeah. know the conversations that they're having. I thought the relationship this week of um, what's his name, Ralph and his wife Jeannie, is it? I thought that was really good because yeah. that kind of got fleshed out a wee bit more from what we'd seen, you know, before. Because we've seen them both kind of, um, they're very oh, different on ways. Each other's side. Yeah, on each other's side. But this grief they had for the death of, of their boy, you know, a few years before or a little while before, that they each kind of reacted very differently, and they kind of struggled very differently. I mean, he'd apparently. In his flashbacks, he'd kind of gone to drink and just sort of called it inwardly, and she'd threw herself into other things. But now, you know, these things are, are kind of, um, kind of this has kind of brought them back together again a little bit. You know, the fact that you know this has happened, and now she had the yeah. But and what's interesting about it is, um, during their revelations and they and they start to see like it's kind of like the boogeyman kind of thing. Yeah. And then there's little nods to basically say that the boogeyman is feeding on grief. Yeah. And now you see him messing with them because we've got an understanding of their grief. Yeah. And we can see how he's in their house and he's messing around with them a little bit because obviously it's feeding off their grief of their lost child. Well, yeah, because we kind of got a lot more information. That we, what did they call? What did they refer to it as the, the tear drinker, which I thought was a real cool name. I thought it was a really yeah. clever name um, because it's it's not just the the dead child it you know the, the the pain of the dead child it consumes it's now it's the grief and the anguish and, and everything else from the the entire families and what it's, it it does in 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 the process all the families or all the members of the family are affected by what it does and so and many of them are dying you know they're finding out now from Holly that you know it's it's not just the child that's going it's you know the the father and the mother and, and whatever that's happening around that because obviously you know that we had the boy that was that killed at the beginning 
Um, I think did everybody in his family then because the mother yeah because because the the brother attempted to kill yeah. Jason Bateman's character yeah. who then got shot by the cops and yeah. then I think the dad hung he tried he tried he tried but he was in hospital wasn't he um, he, he mm. kind of survived and the mother she committed suicide I think as well didn't she so um, you know you you've got all this stuff going on I really do still I'm still loving you know um, Holly Holly's character um, and and also you know the you know the was it Andy, the the guy that she, the awkwardness of their relationship is so funny. It's so it's yeah. so cool. That guy, that guy, I, I can't help but feel that that guy's a little bit fishy. Do you think so? You know, I. Well, what was he doing at the end of the episode? Wasn't he kind of going through some of her stuff that he found in yeah, the room? Yeah, Because they had the they had a little like kind of one night standy type thing. Uh, I just saw the way when he was he was down in the the bar and he rang up to a hotel room saying, "Oh, I'm down here. You know, do you want to come down for a drink?" And she goes, "Oh no, I'm 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 a, I'm a bit tired. It's been a long day." And he went, "Okay." And she goes, "You come here." I was like, uh, "Okay." <laughs> he had this little kind of sly grin on his face, like, "Okay." Um, but yeah, I kind of wondered whether or not um, there was kind of because he seemed really keen and interested for some reason, or whether you know whether or not it's his um, his kind of professional kind of interest that's that's kind of taken thinking hold I don't know um I, I, I like the way that it's kind of slow paced I know it's had one or two people yeah. kind of criticizing it saying uh, it needs to move on but I, I really like the way it's kind of just exploring all these um like you said all these different kind of arcs and all these different um kind of facets and stuff um I just yeah. I've just I, I'm, I'm starting to like um, uh, I'm starting to like how as well it's starting to piece together the bits with the kind of marks on the back of the neck yes yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're getting a lot of a, a, a larger look at Jack. Yeah, um, uh, and I quite liked it. Started to like his character this week because he was quite clearly he was trying to fight the you know the whole thing. Yeah, so he's in a little bit of turmoil. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, because he was uh, what was it with the baby? He didn't want to hold her baby because of what could you knew could what, happen. Could happen. Yeah, yeah. and. He kind of wangled himself onto the team, but obviously that's my, obviously all too. Obviously, he has some nefarious motives. <laughs> nefarious motives. What a great description that is. Nefarious. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I just had this feeling. Obviously, I, I didn't finish this book. I, I read, I think, the first three quarters of of this book, so I don't actually know how it ends. I'm, I'm probably up to around about now where it's got to where I read, and for some reason unlike many Stephen King novels and I really like the book for some reason I don't know why I can't remember but I stopped reading it um, <clears throat> I've still got it here in fact I can see it on my bookshelf from here so I might try and read it but Stephen King had the habit of not necessarily having necessarily big happy endings mm. you know so you know I, I do worry that it's kind of it, it may well not end well for still some of these people that are left alive I think we are going to see maybe one or two people you know you know, disappearing. I wonder if Yul goes out. Maybe we could ask him in a week or two. Do you think he would tell us if um, his kind uh, of mean, character? Uh, surely, when you're talking about these on the podcast, you've got the IMDb page open. Or yeah, of course. Reference. Yeah, yeah. Well, I haven't. I haven't actually checked that because it did tell you how many episodes of Dead. I mean, spoiler alert. No, um, man, don't tell me what. He's got his cast list right there. Oh man! How many episodes has been? Oh, how many did it? Oh man! How many did it do? Ten. Ten. All right. Okay. Yeah, but he might die in the tenth. You know. <gasps> I didn't even think of that. I know, right? So they could all get wiped out in one, one because they kind of like formed this kind of Scooby Gang now, haven't they? To you know to try and this is not an official thing. So you got the four or five of them all together, and you got Holly doing her thing, and she's going to come back to them all. Man, they could all get wiped out in in episode ten. So because I don't even know if it's been if they've even planning a second series, if it's going to be taken up or what. So. Oh man, so I don't know, I don't know. But what we've got now, we've had five, so we've got five to go. See, I, see how quickly I work that one yes, out. That was some good counting. Thanks, I'm thanks, impressed. man. Thanks, thank you, thank you. Um, so yeah, well, episode six tomorrow, I think. That's if um, our house is still standing in this storm that we've got at the moment. So um, we shall probably watch that tomorrow night, I think. Um, tonight, um, so you know, whatever date it is today, what is it? Ninth of February. Um, it's it's technically tomorrow. For technically, to, yeah, exactly, yeah. Because if I if I pull my finger out and actually get this uploaded tonight, then it's still gonna be today. But I was uh, 
we were going to do this earlier on today, but it didn't happen to do because of you know things that we had to had to do in our in our kind of like decorating lives and stuff. Um, so it would have been a little bit more in advance, but you know it's the it's takes the Oscars take place tonight our time in the morning. Um, so we thought we'd just quickly talk about um, some of the films that for the best picture. Um, because actually, I think this is the first time in a few years I've, I've actually seen more than one or two of the films uh, that have been nominated. Usually, the films that, 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 that yeah, and usually they're fairly abstract. Yeah, um, some, some, in some cases, stuff I, I, I've never heard of. Yeah, um, I mean, we've got there's a few that we haven't watched. So Ford versus but, Ferrari. Talk, talk, yeah, talk about the ones we haven't watched. Now Ford versus Ferrari, I really wanted to watch that. I know that story quite well. Is that the how uh... Ford took off? Uh, tried to take on um, oh, Ferrari. Oh, that's a Christian Bale story, it isn't is, it? Yeah, yeah. Matt yeah. Damon. Christian Bale, Matt Damon. Yeah. Um, so that looked quite good. We, I remember we kind of nudged each other when that was on at the pictures, and we said, oh, come and go and see this. But we never did, did we? Um, Little Women. I'm sure you've you've seen Little Women, haven't you? Uh, What's, wasn't your, your lady wife wanting to go and see that? Am I getting that mixed up with something else? I think you get that mixed, mixed up with something else. All oh, right, okay, maybe it is. Uh, Marriage Story, which is Adam Driver. Um, yeah, do you know what I started watching that on uh, Netflix? Is it on Netflix? Oh, yeah, it's a Netflix original. Of course it is. Yeah, of course it is. Which, um, which is, I, I believe it's a Netflix original. Which is interesting that it's up for Best Picture. Well, you've got um, The Irishman as well, which oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well. I mean, that is that was that a Netflix original? Well, yeah, it was. It was fine. Yeah, it was financed by Netflix, and obviously we had all the the malarkey with the. It was. It did have the. The limited release on um, the cinematic release, but generally it was I think it was Netflix money that that was behind it. I think yeah. it's it, it's because it was him and the, the the you know the the cast involved. They would it, it, you know it was, it's not really regarded maybe it's like it's kind of like Netflix original like many of the other films because it had the yeah. release as well. So um, have you seen Marriage Story? I haven't actually seen it. No, um, is it good? I, I've seen the first half. Okay, um, because we we started watching it and then we kind of just. Phased out. It was late one evening. It was All right. Quite long. Um, Adam Driver's cool. Yeah. Scarlett Johansson. They tried to make her frumpy. Okay. Kind of frumpy. That's and, never going to work, also, is it? That's um, never going to happen. Didn't, it didn't work. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think even in some cases, they just put her in like super baggy clothes. All right. The time. I bet she still um, looked great. What's that? What's the point of that? You know, right? So, okay. um, Adam Driver looks great. As I well. bet he still looked great too. Yeah. <laughs> So you watched about half of it, did you? Uh, yeah, it, was it okay? I, I will go back to it. It was good. It was an entertaining watch. Um, Are there any lightsabers, dragons, um, zombies, anything like that in it? Uh, uh, hmm. uh, no, no. No. You see, then... Ugh, maybe, no, 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 okay. no, there wasn't. Okay, no. okay all right. There well, was a trumpet. Okay, well, I, I, you had me at trumpet, yeah. So maybe, maybe Adam Driver. I mean, it's super cool. Anyway, we've talked about Adam. He's, you know, he's like a super cool man. So maybe I'll, I'll have a look at that one day. Um, and then Jojo Rabbit, which is the the kind of comedy Hitler type thing, which again has had a lot of um, a lot of kind of you know people talking about it. But I haven't I haven't seen it myself as yet. Yeah. Um, the the other films we have seen. Well, actually, there's, we've seen three and a bit of them. Because so well, one second you've missed Parasite. Oh my God! Yeah, that wasn't on my list. Why have I missed it out? Parasite. Uh, well, Parasite. That, that, that won the Brits, did it? With the Brit. Oh, the... No, that um. The best foreign film. Best it? foreign film. Yeah, I mean, it's it's obviously it's foreign language film. After. Ba- I think uh, yeah, the, that, the Baptist, yeah. it won the best foreign film at the uh, Baftas. Yeah, I mean, it's the, I think from what I've, I've been reading, that is equal with another film we'll talk about in a second as as, as favorite for for winning. Um, so Parasite might do, and again I know very little about Parasite I'm afraid to say I don't know a huge yeah about it's one of those Parasite. weird ones where I mean I think box office wise it only did about 150 or so million you know, yeah. it wasn't like a massive but I think in in the last couple of years, you know, with like um, Moonlight in uh, Moonlight and 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 La La Land and all this stuff, it it's kind of suggested that it may not have done huge box office, but it might kind of sneak up and, and yeah. pinch the the best film thing. Um, so I, again, I I don't know. I mean, I'm hoping a certain other film wins it, but we we'll, may talk about that in just a second. So the film that we we've seen a bit of, which we saw about what, what did we see about forty forty five minutes yesterday, maybe yeah. when we came when I obviously came and didn't dig when, when you, you came know. when you came around to do so, help me do yeah. some digging and then well, you bailed well you see the thing you, is you ate all my soup that soup was delicious I, my wife that, made soup hey I messaged your wife 
um, last night um, to say thanks for the soup. It was delicious. And you, uh, you ate, you ate all my I had two there. bowls of that soup. It was really nice. It was really nice. Um, yeah, it was funny later on because we had enough for two more um, bowls of it as well. And then, <laughs> um, so the dining table was all kind of like covered up. We couldn't really get to it. Yeah. So she sat on one side and I said, I'm going to have to go and eat this in the living room because there's not enough room. Yeah. And she goes, oh, I'll come too. So I walked through the door and out, and then she walked into the door and dropped the soup everywhere. So then we only had one bowl, you which didn't, I then had to give to you, her. You didn't do that thing where you laughed at her for doing that, like you did when she fell over in the garden last week? Did you? You did, didn't you? You did laugh. And, and how, how well did that go? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because she may be small, but I bet she back, packs a punch. And I yeah. bet you've, you've it's had... Got, it's got tiny, tiny hands, but they're like little needles. Yeah, like peep, 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 kind of like Bruce Lee type thing. Which, yeah. Yeah, so, so when we'll have that... Very nicely, Bruce I know, right? Once upon a time in Hollywood. Which we saw 40, 45, which I've been dying to see for ages. And you just got uh, a new thingy installed. And you went, oh, we've got Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And I said, oh, great, let's stick it on. And then we could only stay. 40, 45 minutes. So um, we saw a wee bit of it. I, I, I don't know if you took much notice um, of it because you were kind of flitting around serving up soup and, and this, that and the other. But that looked really good. I mean, obviously Tarantino and, and stuff. Um, I wasn't too sure about the... I know that when I the we were talking about this beforehand, we were talking about it and then the next moment the actual scene came on with the Bruce Lee um, segment, yeah. um, that I know that his family had kind of taken offence to the way he was portrayed. And I must have made. Kind of understand that. Too. Yeah, yeah, it made him out to be a bit of a douchebag, didn't it? In in, in, in a bit in, of a douchebag, and it made him out lose a fight. I know, I know. To, which uh, I thought to, to um, a fifty-six-year-old <laughs> Brad Pitt, <laughs> a fifty-six-year-old who I mean, you know, Brad Pitt looked he looked good and he was moving and stuff. But I mean, whether or not Brad Pitt would have killed, you know, knocked out Bruce Lee or whatever, I don't think so but anyway but you look quite good doesn't it it looked look mm-hmm. i don't think it'll win do you do you think uh nah, i don't did you watch the rest so. of it did you stay and watch no, it when, I, when we went no, okay no, I'm, I'm probably gonna watch I, I was actually planning on watching the rest of it tonight okay all right okay let me know um i don't okay. cause i know this, what the story is because i know it's a kind of i mean it authentically because obviously it was set what in 67 68 something like that it was um it was, you know, it, it looked the part and it, it looked great and set in Los Angeles, Charlie, Charlie Manson and all that stuff. Um, so I do know the story, so I don't, I don't mind spoilers. The, the the three films that we have seen, The Irishman is nominated. I don't think The Irishman is going to win, do you? Uh, no, I don't think so either. I, 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 like, I mean, I never actually went back to that. You know something? I remember. Yeah, I was going to... Uh, it's strange how that film, I really enjoyed watching it and I didn't generally enjoying watching it but i haven't really thought much about it and since i watched it it was it's one of those films kind of like that was good but you know sometimes you can tell maybe how well for me how much i really did love a film by maybe talking about it thinking about it maybe and watching it again um but for, for the irishman i've kind of not gone back to and i don't know if i would sit for the three hour and a half hours or whatever to watch it again well, well i've still got 30 minutes to go and i'm just like eh, yeah yeah I don't think I would. I mean, I don't think I would. I, if I had, you know, it's that time to kill, maybe, but I, I don't know. Um, the Joker, uh, or Joker, I should say, that, is, yeah, you know. That, I can, that's, that definitely deserves to be up there. Yeah, I mean, we are, I still sort of think about that film, and I still think, you know, all the hoo ha about in Joker and he was going to incite violence and and what did it incite <clears throat> people dancing on stairs you know and taking pictures and well you know how cool was that I think you know and, and you had him because it was the BAFTAs was it last week um and um Joaquin Phoenix got best actor at the, at the BAFTAs for his part as Joker um and his speech at the end was talking about diversity and the fact that um, you know, all the nominations were all you know white middle class people. You know, there were you know few black people, people of color, few uh, women have been nominated for for anything as well. So, I, I did. Did you see the speech? Did you see it? No, yeah, it, it was really good because it was it was a really good speech and it was kind of it was saying a lot of things. But you know, people had kind of been thinking that you know it's very much kind of just this kind of whitewashed kind of thing, a bit like some people suggesting the Oscars, you know, were as well. Um, so our BAFTA is a similar sort of thing. Um, and the speech he gave was kind of laying into the fact that, you know, we've, we've all got across. And he kind of 
said himself, you know, he's he's played a part in this as well. He hasn't done enough on sets to to you know demand to demand, to demand there was enough diversity in the films that he's been in. Um, and then at the end, I don't know how long it was, but it felt like about a minute, probably about ten seconds of just like pause nothing and then people applauded but it was kind of like oh sh- oh oh shit you know <laughs> it was it was quite good it was quite it was quite amusing the fact because i think he, he, he just thought i don't care i'm just going to say this which was quite cool um, i'm really hoping that 1917 gets it i of the two of the the same. nominations um sam you think so rather than joker I thought you might yeah, still have gone for Joker. I think so. I mean, I thought Joker was cool. I thought Joaquin Phoenix was incredible in it. But 1917 just hit. Really, yeah. It was just. It was just something a little bit more. You yeah. Know? I don't think I they think, can. God, sorry. You can say. Um, yeah, I mean, I think like, I think with the Joker, we kind of knew what to expect, and it ticked all boxes. Yeah. With 1917, it kind of, it kind of did something a little bit different. You know, with the with the kind of one take stuff, the fact that it was used in people that most people probably have never heard of. Yeah. Um. It, and but then obviously, dipping in a lot of cameos throughout. But then I mean, the the emotional story, the 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 kind of journey that it took you on. I just feel like it was just probably the most well rounded film I've seen in quite some time. Yeah. I mean, you know, we reviewed, we we talked about it after we, you know, the the day or so after we watched it, and. It, you know, we were just blown away, <clears throat> both of us. You know, but I agree with everything that you just said there. I, I'm still, I still kind of think about it occasionally now, particularly you know the end, the end bit. I mean, it, some people haven't seen. It, I've kind of judged it for being, you know, kind of Saving Private Ryan, First World War. So, I mean, which is like nothing, nothing like that at all. Um, I mean, there's not actually a huge amount of fighting, is there, in 1917? No. You know, the, obviously you've got one or two set pieces, particularly at the end, but there isn't like a, you know, and you have kind of minor gunfights and stuff. Um, but the kind of it has had a bit, a, a bit of a backlash by some people are thinking now it's kind of like you know maybe just the, the, a few people now have to hate it because everybody's liking it. You know, people kind of not liking success or something. And I've, I saw a couple of. Um, comments last week about oh it was it had a predictable ending. I thought the ending was like completely unpredictable for me. Yeah. You know, um, but it kind it kind of tried to like throw you a few curveballs. Yeah, yeah. They, they, well, the the whole plan is that they go and stop this attack from happening. Yeah, and then Mark Strong kind of made a suggestion that made you think oh maybe no matter what he does it's it's not going to happen because yeah. Mark Strong says to him you know. When you give that message to the general, make sure you, there's witnesses. Yeah, because yeah. some people just like a fight. Yeah, yeah. So as soon as as soon as he said that, then you're going through and you're thinking, oh, this guy is going to be an asshole, and then he yeah. gets there, and he is an asshole. But then you know, I think I think it's a good way to do it because it, it gives you that a, a second to think. He's yeah. Going to do it anyway. Yeah, yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah. And and then that, that thing he said at the end, it was it Cumberbatch, wasn't it? It was playing him. It was like I can't remember exactly what he said, but he said, "Oh, you know, it's you, you, you know, you, you think you succeeded, but next week they'll just go and tell us to attack again, and then we'll, yeah. you know, everybody will die that would have been that been saved today, you know." And, and it was that kind of just that that sort of success that didn't last very long for this guy. He kind of done almost done what he was set out yeah. to do. It may be quite morbid, but I, I think I would have preferred at the end if he didn't find the guy he was supposed to be finding. Yeah, the brother. The brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th- um, th- that was a one uh, thing. Yeah, that it was kind of tied up a little bit, kind of neatly, wasn't it? Sort of, it kind of just stumbled upon the brother that he was looking for. Yeah, um, it did a little bit too happily. Yeah, yeah, and he was too nice, and he was too perfect, and you know, he was kind of like the decent person that you thought he would be. That maybe, yeah, maybe one of the things. It would have been interesting if it had been a complete douchebag that it wanted to have found him at the end and, you know, yeah. a complete, you know, complete antithesis of what it, what he found. I, I I hope it wins. I, I've got a feeling that Parasite's going to win, to be perfectly honest. I, I, I've got a feeling it will do, but I, I really hope 1917 just, just wins because it's a, you know, it's a British film and it's got British, you know, full British actors in. And I mean, I know what you're saying about, you know, not many people, but it, it, it was, you know, it was kind of one of those cases for for me and you who kind of, you know, knew like, you know, the Mark Strongs and that sort of thing. You know, it yeah. was a kind of famous actors having these tiny parts, wasn't it, of, of just, you know, the odd few lines here and there, and then that was it, and they were gone. So, um, I think it's like one, two in the morning or something, and it goes on forever. So, I'll probably check it when I wake up. I won't be staying up to watch it or anything uh, like that. So, um, anything else you want to chat about this week before we finish? 
anything no. you want to talk about? I don't think so either. I think we kind of done. Are you, have you got any more digging to do today, or any more laughing at your wife cooking I, soup? I today? am getting in the bath and watching the film. Oh, you sexy thing! I'm going to uh, get something to eat. Um, so I was just about to have my meal before we we did this, and then I've kind of postponed that. And I might watch then. I might watch that marriage thing tonight, uh, and a driver possibly. Um, sure. See how that goes, and uh, I'll and then we'll, we'll we'll let you know people that listen to this. We'll let you know about you know, the Yul Vasquez um, situation in terms of when that's going to be. But we'll put it up on all the social networking, and it should be real good. I am excited. I, I think it's going to be great. So thank you everybody for listening um, again. Um, so from Zach and Stuart, myself, we'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.